stability instead of atmosphere and the rains associated. Now see, while discussing types of rains, you understand what is orographic, you understand what is cyclonic, what is frontal, or ek add kya tha maine, convectional. In all the four cases, air is rising up, it is cooling, it is condensing, forming clouds, and on that the mechanism operates and I have got rainfall. Now, why does air rise in these three cases? These three cases are examples of forced upliftment. Ye apne aap, ye air rise nahi karta. There is a mountain. This is an air moving. Because of mountain, this has uplifted. This was the air moving. It is a cold air. It comes near air, which is even very, very, very cold. Because of this, this cold air will rise. Otherwise, you apne aap rise nahi karta. Or, this air was moving and it meets another air. And when they mix together, because they concentrate, they again are forced to rise. So, ye jo teen upliftment hai, they are examples of what? Forced upliftment. Now, look at the fourth case. Ye jo convectional upliftment hai. What happens is, there is air and this air starts to rise. There is no mountain. There is no another air mass. There is no convergence. Ye apne aap rise kar raha. Why? Why is the air rising on its own? This is convection. Yes, this is warm. Warm compared to what? Surrounding air. Okay. To understand this, we have a proper mechanism, which is about the instability of air. So I am discussing now, convectional rainfall kaise hota hai? How does the air rise on its own? Because of the difference of temperature with the surrounding air. This is not same as any of these three cases. Yalag hai. This is two air masses interacting. Not same as entire surrounding air. Okay? So, write down here. The concept of stability instability is applicable to convectional rainfall where air rises because it is warm compared to the air around it. There is a proper mechanism. Next sentence. There is a proper mechanism to appreciate how such air arises. Look at a very elementary level. We are just saying that air is warm hai, and warm air is rising. This air is warm okay, and warm air rises. That is a very elementary way of understanding. But there I am saying that there is a proper mechanism how it happens. Okay, Don't write down. Listen to this. Now say, atmosphere, we must imagine as two components. One component is the air which is stationary. Move nahi kar raha hai. There is an air layer called A. There is an air layer called B. There is an air layer called C. Air layer called D. Ye layers of air. And the air is not moving. This is a stationary air. Is air mein, which is the warmest layer? In this air, which is warmest layer? A. Why is A warmest? Because it is nearer the surface, then B will be less warm because it is far away from the surface. C is cooler because further away from the surface. So this is very warm. This is warm. This is cool. This is very cool. And this is cold. This pattern is called as the lapse rate. The rate at which the environmental air cools with Height. Is this air moving? No. Ye warm air hai, but not moving. This layer is warm. Okay. This is cooler and cooler and so on. So this is one aspect of the atmosphere. All fine here. Stationary air and there is temperature difference. The air becomes cold with height. But remember, there's no movement of air. Now, this atmosphere ka ek aur component hai, which is a packet of air. The packet of air is inside the layers of the atmosphere. Is this atmosphere moving? But this packet of air, so imagine the temperature of A is, I'm putting orbit numbers. Say it is 20 degrees centigrade. This becomes cold. Okay. This becomes 15 degrees centigrade. Okay. This becomes 5 degrees centigrade. Uh, this becomes 0 degrees centigrade. And let me assume 
this is 1 1 kilometer and the rate of cooling is 5 degrees per kilometer i'm assuming a number actually kitna hai wo vary karega i'm assuming that this okay is 20 1 kilometer ke baad mein 5 less 15 after one more kilometer 5 less becomes okay uh, becomes 10 sorry becomes 10 becomes 5 becomes 0 and so on and this is not moving so this layer a temperature at 20 layer b has 15 layer c has 10 layer d has 5 and e has 0 this packet of air is another system altogether say for example this packet of air has a temperature of say 30 degrees centigrade now this is warmer than this will it rise yes it rises so i'm assuming for whatever kahin se bhi heat aaya jo bhi hai there is a packet of air thing of a balloon here the balloon is at 30 this is warmer than 20 will the balloon rise yes say it goes here as it rises will the balloon cool yes why because it is expanding why is this cooling because the distance from the ground is increasing think of the ground as a heater Jitna dur jaoge, utna thanda ho jayega. Why is this packet of air cooling? Because it is expanding. Okay. Iska rate of cooling kitna hai? Paanch hai. Iska kitna hai? Ye paanch nahi hoga. Ye kuch or rate. Because the mechanism alag hai. So assume, say the rate of cooling of this packet of air, say approximately is 7 degree per kilometer. 30 tha. After 1 kilometer kitna ban jayega ye? 23. This is more than 15. Will it rise? Yes, it again comes here. It will again cool. 23 minus 7. Kitna ho gaya apka? 16. Is warmer than this? It will again rise. It now become 9. Again warmer than this? It will now become, say, 2. Warmer than this? Iske upar mein, jab ye minus 5 hai, ye kitna ho jayega? Minus 5. Now the temperature are matched. Will the packet of air rise further? So when an air packet rises, I must visualize the system as two different things operating together. This packet of air rises because it is warmer than the air outside. And till the time it remains warm, it will keep on rising. Imagine, say this cooling change hoker, say imagine, yet 10 centigrade per kilometer ho gaya. For whatever reason, this air will rise up to some height here and then stop. So this rate of cooling is not same as the rate of cooling of the packet of air. Ye do alag systems hai. So, so to understand, to understand a convectional upliftment, upliftment where air packet rises on its own. We must visualize the air as two components. Likhe up, write down now. To understand, write down. To understand convectional upliftment of air to understand convectional upliftment of air where air okay packet or air rises on its own when air packet or when air rises on its own we must visualize air as two components kya hai? a static air that is not moving but cools with height a static air that is not moving but which cools with height okay, because of distance of the air from the ground surface we visualize two components a component has static air is something like the background air the background air that is not moving not moving but it cools with height because of distance of the air from the surface. Is the principle kya hai? Principle is atmosphere is heated from below. A background air hai. Ye diagram yaad, yaad rakhna. Ek background air hai. The layers are becoming warm, sorry, cold with height. Not because air is moving, because this air is far away from the ground. This is even farther from the ground. And the atmosphere is heated from, from below. Take this rate of cooling of the atmosphere with height is called this rate of cooling of the atmosphere with height is called environmental 
लैप्स रेट कॉल्ड एज ई एल आर कॉल्ड एज ई एल आर रिमेंबर नॉट नॉर्मल लैप्स रेट बताया था मैंने आपको नॉर्मल लैप्स रेट ओके इमेजिनरी है यही माया है ठीक है ये होता नहीं है एक एजम्शन है इफ द सिस्टम वॉज स्टडी स्टेट सिस्टम ओके तब एटमोस्फेयर वुड हैव बीन एट 6.4 पर किलोमीटर रियलिटी में दिस इज एन इमेजिनरी वैल्यू इन रियलिटी द एक्चुअल रेट ऑफ कूलिंग इज कॉल्ड एज एनवायरमेंटल लैप्स रेट इसका किसका कितना वैल्यू है ईएलआर का वैल्यू कितना है इज वेरिएबल इट वेरीज द एनवायरमेंटल लैप्स रेट ऑन द ओशन आर डिफरेंट ऑन द लैंड इज डिफरेंट ऑन द इन द मॉर्निंग इज डिफरेंट इन द नाइट टाइम डिफरेंट होगा विंटर्स में अलग है समर्स में अलग है करेक्ट ELR is a variable number. Okay, it is variable number. ELR varies with seasons, with the daytime, and with the nature of the surface. All good here. So ELR is for the static atmosphere. That's one component of atmosphere. Second component, kya hai? There are two components, right? Second component is the packet of air that is rising because of its temperature being more than the surrounding static air one is a static air the background air aur ek kya hai the packet of air the packet of air is rising because of the its temperature being more than the surrounding static air so mara aap i'm just okay writing what i had said earlier so this is the background air this is a packet of air this packet of air continue please packet of air cools as it rises because of because of adiabatic expansion and cooling okay this rate of cooling is called the adiabatic lapse rate isko kya bolte hain environmental lapse rate bolte hain isko kya bolte hain adiabatic lapse rate this rate of cooling is called as the adiabatic lapse rate okay this depends on degree of saturation and the moisture in the packet of air it depends on the degree of saturation is iska property aisa hi hai it depends on the degree of saturation and the moisture in the packet of air what i'm saying is this packet at what rate it cools it depends on isme kitna moisture hai whether it is perfectly dry or it is perfectly saturated ya fir koi beech ka value hai which type of air absorbs more heat moist air or dry air which type of air will absorb more heat moist or dry air moist air moist air because water can absorb more heat remember So, अगर मॉइस्चर होगा लिसन अगेन अगर मॉइस्चर होगा द रेट ऑफ कूलिंग इज मोर और लेस इफ देर इज मॉइस्चर मीन्स वॉट इट इज वॉर्म इट हैज मोर हीट सो रेट ऑफ कूलिंग कैसा होगा विल बी लेस मीन्स द एयर विल रिमेन वॉर्म फॉर अ लॉन्गर टाइम वाई बिकॉज मॉइस्चर कैन होल्ड हीट अगर ड्राई होगा इट विल बी कूलिंग फास्टर तो रूल है द रूल है the dry adiabatic lapse rate is 10 degree centigrade per kilometer and for saturated lapse rate it is 4 degree centigrade per kilometer moist air will cool slowly dry air cools very fast hamesha yaad rakho ye rate of cooling hai it's not exact temperature it is the rate of cooling theek hai the dry adiabatic lapse rate ka value kitna hai 10 hai and slr kitna hai ये वैल्यूज फिक्स्ड हैं। दिस इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द मॉइस्चर हाउ इट कूल्स विथ हाइट दैट्स व्हाई व्हेन आई गेव दिस एग्जांपल टू यू आई सेड नो कि आई स्टार्टेड विद लैप्स सेवन अगर चेंज कर दोगे ये राइजिंग का रेट चेंज हो जाएगा इफ द रेट ऑफ कूलिंग इज लेस इट राइज टू हायर हाइट एट द रेट ऑफ कूलिंग इज मोर वेन इट राइज टू लेसर हाइट्स